Hi, I'm Barbara Satterfield. I'm a clay artist in Conway, Arkansas. Welcome to this do-it-yourself tutorial to learn how to do your own virtual studio tour. It outlines options that I've used when I've shown my work, and I hope it will help you show yours wherever you create it, in a purpose-built studio or your dining room table. Use these suggestions and adjust them to your situation. To begin with, you want to sketch a simple ground plan of your space. You want to choose several different camera angles to keep it lively. Your first camera location would be for your welcome and your introduction. The second location to show your tools and explain the process of how you make the work. And your third camera location would be to share your stories. When you're ready to sign off, go back to that first camera location to say goodbye. So for a few suggestions about logistics, you want to be able to stream your live studio tour on a free Zoom account. That way you can email the invitations and you also can record it for use later. Just a note about cameras. It's helpful to mount your camera on your camera tripod. That way you can move it easily about your space. In the studio, I mount my camera on a tripod on a furniture dolly so I can roll it around the floor. Now it helps to have a friend in your studio to hold your laptop or move your laptop about as you go through your different camera angles. Another thing about cameras, mine is a fixed focus, medium wide angle camera, which includes context that I find interesting. However, it cannot focus in on good detail. So choose the camera for your medium and your process to make sure you get the results you want. Now, webcams have microphones, but if you are soft-spoken or if you have environmental noise, buy a USB wired remote mic. The first location is for your welcome and introduction. Keep your welcome short and set a conversational tone. In your introduction, first share what is distinctive about your medium, why and when you decided to work with it. Then outline the two to three points that you want to make in the tour. For example, you're going to show work, you're going to explain the process, and you're going to share some stories. Then transition to your first point with a phrase like, let's look at some work. And that will be when your camera transitions too. So now we get to show the work. And what you're going to do is give the title and the dimensions of each of the pieces featured in your tour. You also, however, want to be sure and point out the characteristics of the work using art terms that are related to your medium. This is also a time when you want to talk about your influences. It may be a historical period, it might be a photograph, it might even be a quote that you refer to. These things inform your work and you want to share them with your viewer. The next step in the tour is to explain the process. You're going to show them the way you work. So you want to have some tools, maybe some equipment for them to look at so they can see the process of your working. And if it's quick and easy, feel free to do a demo. This is also a time when you want to share some sketches and tests. That way your viewer can see how your work was informed by your research. The third point is to share your backstories. Those are your experiences and discoveries, things you learned, things you did differently than you had before that made this new work possible. These stories are something you want to share with your viewers so they can get to know the artists behind the work. This is also a time when you can thank an artist, an artist group, or talk about an exhibit or workshop that inspired your experimentation and resulted in the work they got to see. After you've shared your backstories, this is an opportunity for you to share your next stories. If making the work has presented a new interest to you, this is a time to show that research. You might want to share some sketches, you might want to share a finished piece, but it's an opportunity to let them know that the work you've created has sent you in a new direction. This also gives you the opportunity to invite them to your website to look for latest information and images. The web has a wide variety of studio tours and how-to art videos. My goal was to put together a tutorial to encourage artists to create regular virtual exhibitions of new work and maybe add a new tool to their marketing toolbox. 
So download the three outlines and adjust them to your medium, your space, and your style. And also share your backstories and let your viewers get to know the person behind the artwork. Best wishes, everybody.